So it's bank holiday Monday and we've got someone coming to pick up the mouldy fiesta. It's finally going, I've decided I'm not going to get round to it, so as I said, let it go cheap. Um, first person that messaged me on it, have a guess at who it was. It was old man Mike, straight in there, said he wanted it. Now I told him he couldn't drive it. He needed to get it transported because it was too hanging and I hadn't moved it in a donkey's age. But he's down this way anyway today and has decided to give it a shot. Now that means I need to check if it's starting and if we can get it out of this spot. And obviously doing that means I've got to deal with the nasty mould because I'm more than likely going to have to jump start it. Now this is how bad it has got. It doesn't actually seem damp. I don't know why it's got quite so mouldy because it it isn't smell damp and there doesn't seem to be any dampness in it but um it is absolutely hanging and i don't know how mike thinks he's even going to begin to drive this i've got back up with me today got brooks in to earn a few pennies and she's going to earn her pennies today with this one now this is the first time i'm sure it won't be the last time that i'm actually losing a a quite substantial amount of money on this because for whatever reason I decided just to get shot when I should have got round to doing it. Now we are going to be wearing masks and rubber gloves when we do this. Um, again I have no idea how Mike thinks he's going to drive it back. I did specifically say I was selling this as is because spending a day cleaning it and selling it for a loss doesn't make any sense. But I've got to get this out of this parking space and I don't fancy doing it in the current state it is, so we're going to have to have to see what we can do. Right, Brooks moved on to cleaning the Suzuki Swift. I'll go and show you what, how we got on with the Fiesta. Next thing we're gonna do is bang some lavender oil in. Always have some of this on the go. Dog smells, bad smells, lavender oil overpower every time. So just flick a bit of this around the cabin, make it smell lovely for Mike. Predictably it's peeing down with rain now, but as you can see, we've improved things an awful lot for Mike. So he doesn't have to drive home and worry about catching some hideous disease. Just hoovered it and then gave it a wipe over with baby wipes. It's obviously going to need, still need a proper wet clean, but this will be okay to travel in. Safe. We'll flick some lavender oil around now so it's got a nice smell to it. It's only just gone and started, first turn of the key. No hesitation whatsoever, despite being sat for months. The battery's obviously clearly really strong. Started up straight away, no problems at all. Idling lovely, just over a thousand revs. Um, no warning lights. Let's see if the brakes are seized though. That clutch is high. But I did say that, didn't I? Yeah, seized up brakes. Let's work these brakes off. We'll drive around the yard a bit, free them up for Michael. Okay, so 
these brakes may well have actually just been James you've left the handbrake on you pillock it's actually not seized at all I can't believe this car's been sitting for this many months and it just starts up on the button the brakes aren't seized what have I done guys what have I done I've gifted this and the clutch isn't anywhere near as bad as it actually is at the top but isn't as bad as I thought it was I've gifted this haven't I absolutely gifted this away oh dearie dear me this would have been a good bit of stop with a bit of effort wouldn't it oh well what can you do a deal's a deal if i've said i'm going to do something at a certain price that is what is happening so uh there we go the thing's only just gotten started immediately without hesitation driven straight out of spot without any seized brakes despite having them been sat for months on end and now after even just a basic clean over <laughs> oh dear i've undersold myself massively on this it was nowhere near as big a problem as i thought it was so brooke's doing her best with a rubber um hair catch trying to get a dog hair off the mat in the back of the suzuki swift she's hoovered out the rest of it i'm gonna now wet clean the seats while she's doing that hopefully we should get this ready for retail today So Mike's off in the Fiesta, he's got backup in case he has problems. Check the tree feed off. <laughs> right, we're looking to see the end of the tail lights, because that's the point the warranty stops on that trade sale. And off he goes. To be fair, I think I like I say, I think I've dropped a dropped to the proverbial with that one because I think that car's actually fine. And it only took me and Brooke like 20 minutes to give it that much of a clean up. It pulled straight out of the parking space without any problems. Ran like a top. So there you go. But like I said, deal's a deal. So we'll move on to finishing off the uh, little switch. Brooke's very happy because one of you lovely subscribers has had this delivered on the bank holiday Monday. We were just sitting, literally, God's honest, we were just sitting down to our lunch um, from the cleaning. And this has arrived at the exact moment we just sit down and have a brew and have something to eat. So whoever sent that, hopefully I'll find out the name and give them a shout later on. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> Swift has now had its exterior clean as well. The windows are misses up a bit, obviously, because of the damp from the interior seat cleans. So we'll leave the windows out for it to now dry out. As you can see, all the wheels are had a proper acid clean. It's all looking really good. Inside's looking good. Brooke spent ages with that rubber trying to get as much of the dog hair out as possible. I've got a better one at home that I'll use. Um, probably tomorrow I'll bring in, try and get a bit more out, but she did a cracking job getting most of it out. All the door shuts have been done. Yeah, it's coming up really, really clean. Let's go around and touch a few little bit, bits more in. Yeah, still, there's still a little bit of plastic interior cleaning to do, um, clean the mats, put those back in again. But overall, she's looking really good. So now we're just going to give the outside a coat of uh, quick detailer, get some tyre shine on and it'll be set for a photo shoot. But that might happen tomorrow. So we've just got an aircon bomb. You can probably see the smoke in there going off inside the little Suzuki Swift. I don't know if you've come across these before, but you can buy these little cans called aircon bombs. I don't know, it's a proper name actually. But you put them in a the footwell, clip them down, and then put your aircon on full recirculating. I've got a spare key on the outside of the car, by the way. <laughs> All the doors are closed. And you just let it run for five minutes and it basically circulates the, um, the um, antibacterial cleaner type stuff through the air conditioning system around the car. Because obviously this one had, did have dogs in it. So we're giving it a good clean. It doesn't actually smell that doggy anymore, but we'll do this on top as well, just to give it a really nice fresh smell. And then it's all ready for a photo shoot once I put some tire shine on. So tyre shine on, quick detail on, cracking looking little car now, swap the rear light out, that was cracked wasn't it so I've got a replacement one there, 
she's come out really really clean david did a bit of paint down there didn't he so we've got a mega clean looking little swift really nice looking in this gunmetal gray now and that interior came up lovely so yeah as i said i was really really impressed with driving this i have to say now this is probably equal for me with the Mazda 3 1.25 in terms of if you're around that 1.2, 1.3 engine size you're looking for in a small hatch, then I think probably in my, for fun driving and performance, I think probably the Mazda 2 and the Suzuki Swift 1.2 are probably up there now as being my, my top two in this kind of range. So we'll get the photographs done and then get it up for sale. So that's it for our bank holiday Monday. Brooke's chosen chariot to take us home is the Jaguar and to be fair it does need more road testing so we're going to give that a hoon home and probably play a bit of Fortnite together. Hope you enjoyed that all, see you again soon.